Hello everyone, so as I promised, I'm going to show you how to manually install the AOSP icons for your ROM by modifying the two system files framework res and system UI AP key. So to begin with, you need to have either WinRAR or 7zip or any other archive program on your Windows PC. Next, for your phone, you would need to have a root browsing tool. In my case, I'm going to use root explorer to fetch the files from the system folders and to put them on the SD card in order to transfer them to the computer. So let's begin by transferring the files open up your root browsing app and go to system you're gonna go to system now system app this is where I'm going to get to fetch the system UI AP key so scroll down where you get the S letters it should be somewhere here There we go, and choose to copy it, and now go to the SD card and paste it in there. So I don't know how you access your SD card from your root explorer app, but I just go to go back and go to mount and SD card, so I'm going to paste it here. And next, I'm going to fetch the framework rest file, which can be found under system, then framework. It should be in here. Here it is. Copy this as well. And again, put it on your SD card, whatever you prefer. I prefer the root directory. So just go back again. Go to the SD card and paste it. Now we are done with this. And okay, now for this next step, you're going to need to download either 7zip or WinRAR. I would really recommend to download 7zip because it has um, it does job quicker. So if you would like to get it, just go to Google search and type in 7zip like this. It should be the first result. Choose the one depending on your uh, Windows type, whether it's 32 bit or 64 bit. So you decide, download it and install it. And once we are done, the next thing we need to do is you need to download the IM, IMGS zip file from the link to the video description and put it somewhere on your computer. Next thing after that is we need to copy the two files which we got from our phone, the framework request and the system UI into whatever folder you want so that they are ready for editing. And like I said, use the uh, archive program to extract the IMGS file into a folder and here you can see they are separated. We've got the images for the framework rest here and the images for the system UI here. So this next step is fairly easy. First of all, let's open a framework rest file using 7-zip. You should have it in the context menu here. Choose to open archive. Next, go to res and go to draw LDPI in here. Now you can see the images here. Next, go to IMGS and go to the framework rest select all of the images from there and drag them out into the framework rest archive open in 7zip like this choose yes and it will replace them so now I can just close this you can go back now open up system UI using the 7zip again go to res draw LDPI again go to images system UI select all of the images from here as well and drag them out into the system view archive open here choose yes again to replace close out this and we are, we are done that's basically it now we need to make a flashable zip file for this we are going to be using the UOT kitchen which is fairly easy and doesn't take any effort at all and ok for this next part go to the following address which you see on the screen then go to kitchen and from here do not choose any of these mods here simply go to file upload then uh, choose the options which I choose so for update binary use type galaxy uh, go down and leave this as they are here then leave this as well patch 9 team chooser preview uh, choose MDPI to LDPI here this next leave this option here alone and finally choose upload system files from here choose the edited framework rest file which you have so go to 
wherever your files are located and choose framework rest and for system UI, choose the system UI app here you can just leave these two alone because we didn't modify these um, we didn't modify these two files at all so just leave them as they are and just wait for the files to be uploaded up here and they are done then go to summary if everything is in green then you have done the job well and all you have left to do is press submit word to kitchen so press that and basically now you just need to wait and you can just remember this order number here so you can look out for it go to the pickup page and now after waiting a few minutes your cooked files should appear here in your recently cooked files as you can see here so just download the zip file now and save it to your phone's SD card you can just put it here and once it is done downloading you may disconnect your phone's USB connection and next thing we're going to do is we're going to boot into recovery mode now here is the easiest step basically all you have left to do is you need to turn off your phone and you need to boot into recovery mode so power off your Galaxy Y and hold the three button combination, the home button, the volume up and the power button. You can do this in stock recovery and also in quadrant recovery, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, if you have stock recovery, you do not need to boot into quadrant recovery, simply just flash the zip file and you should see the changes. So hold the three button combination. And choose the options uh, which you use as, which you use as usual. Apply update from SD card, and choose the UOT. And the numbers may vary upon the date where you made this. So choose that. Press the home button, and it is done. Now just choose to reboot system now, and you should see the changes on your phone. And these are the final results which you should have once your phone boots up. As you can see, the green battery, the the, the signal icon, the packet data, the Wi-Fi should be affected as well same for the vibration and silent mode icon, the downloading icon as well and yeah now these are actually the icons which you can see in the Sino Gym Mode 7 ROM when you choose the green team that's where I actually got them and with this method you can also leech status bar icons from other ROMs as well instead of flashing their APK files into your phone which could result in breaking it you can simply replace them by this method and make yourself an unflashable zip file thanks to UOT Kitchen and flash it. And the end result is success, as you can see from this video. And yeah, that's about it, guys. That's what you need to do. These are the basic instructions on how to manually add custom icons and all that. All you need is an archive program on your Windows computer and a root browsing tool on your phone. And that's about it.